Hi! In this 5-minute Priority Matrix curriculum video, we're going to be starting at square one and learning about the layout of the software. The first thing to notice in Priority Matrix is that when you move your eye from left to right, you are taking in high level to increasingly minute information. So if we look at the dashboard in a schema format, we see that we have the top left, which is the universal view, very high level, it takes all your data from all projects and pulls them together. Then we've got your list of projects on the left. Moving on, we've got the project view, really the core of priority matrix. As we then move our eye a little bit further to the right, we see that we have the details pane, which toggles back and forth between the item details or the project details, depending on whether you've selected a, a given item. Then, to the very far right, we have an even more granular view. This is the feed. It gives us a time-stamped history of all the changes that are happening within a particular project or within the whole team. So again, as you can see, we go from very high level all the way to granular. Now I'd like to walk you through what we just discussed, first live in the Mac version and then the Windows version. So as you can see, we've got the universal view up top to the left, then we've got the list of projects. I can select any of these projects and they will open up in the project view. Then of course, we've got the area where we look at each and every project one at a time. We can toggle back and forth between the Gantt, Calendar, Reports, or Matrix view of this one unique project. So this is the unique Gantt chart view, for example, of this project compared to the universal Gantt chart view on the left. Then we'll go to the details on the right. This details panel toggles back and forth between the details of the project and the details of the task, simply depending on whether you are clicked on a task or not. So if I click on the task, it will show me the details of that task. If I click out, it'll show me the pertinent details of that project. Then moving further to the right, we of course have the feed. The feed showing us the timestamped history of changes made either across all projects in this one project or two items that I am following. Of course, we can also make sure that our view fits what we want to do at the moment. So for example, if we don't need to look at a list of projects on the left or we don't find the feed helpful, we can actually go to view and we can hide the project list, etc. So you can really open or close different areas to make sure that the view you have at the moment is helping you work most productively. Once again, looking at the priority matrix layout, simply in the Windows version this time, we've got the high level view on the top left, list of projects, and then as we move right again, we become more and more focused. This is the area where we focus on only one project at a time. Of course, this is where you can also toggle back and forth between the unique views of this one particular project, calendar, Gantt chart, reports, or the matrix view, unique once again in contrast to universal where you're actually pulling together all the information and presenting it in a Gantt chart, calendar, reports, or master list view. So once we move to the right of our project space, we can then see that we've got details either item details if you're clicked on a particular task or project details. And then again, moving to the right, we're once more getting more and more into the weeds. Now, as with the Mac version, we've got the timestamped play-by-play and you can select whether you wanna see a feed of all projects, feed of items in this project or feed of only your followed items. And then we can simply open and close different panels by clicking on these buttons. Let's take a few moments to review the concepts. First of all, when looking from left to right, Priority Matrix is gonna show you first high level and then increasingly granular info. Between the Mac and the Windows interface, this layout is virtually identical. Thirdly, the details panel toggles between item and project details. This is designed to save you screen space. And finally, you can remove different panels to find your most comfortable view. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.